Hi guys, it's Steve here uh, from Doha. Thanks for all the questions um, regarding the fixtures. Uh, I want to answer a few of, the, few of your questions now. Um, I think especially the first month we have seven games. Um, you know, it is a busy schedule, but I think with actually this Champions League over here playing, you know, every three or four days, I think that's going to help us leading into the season and the short turnarounds. We have great staff, great um, head of high performance and strength and conditioning. They both uh, do a very good job in getting the boys uh, recovered and ready to go. Um, well, we have a squad with uh, some great young, talented players um, with a short turnaround as well. Obviously, we'll freshen up the squad uh, from game to game. We'll see how how, how everyone recovers. But um, yeah, we've, we've got great depth in our squad. I think you've, you've seen from over here in the Champions League that Callum Neuanoff had played his first game and I thought he was very good. So we've got good, young, talented players. Trent Bahaja playing now, Luka Vanovic. Um, there's, there's many of them that will get opportunities and um, and yeah, obviously with the short turnarounds, that'll be great for the for the squad development. Yeah, the first uh, game of the season against Melbourne City is a double header, both uh, grand final replays. So I know definitely that one, and I'm sure I haven't seen the rest of the of the schedule for the W League, but I'm sure there'll be more to come. Yeah, I just touched on him just before. Um, for, for me, uh, it was his first start uh, for, for Sydney in, in the first grade, and I thought he was probably one of our best players, if not the best player on the pitch um, against Shanghai. So um, that's saying something with some very talented players on, on, uh, on show. Uh, you know, even for, for their team, you got the likes of Hulk, um, Moy. Lopez and then obviously our quality in our squad and I thought he um, did a, a very good job in his first game and and um, yeah hopefully you'll see a lot more of him. Um, well hopefully soon because I'm from the Northern Beaches so it'd be great to bring the game to, to the Northern Beaches. We have a lot of um, very loyal fans over that way and uh, if we can get a game there we'll do our best to, to, to get it. Well, let's hope so. Uh, if we're invited, yet, yeah. it's obviously after a, a big win, but uh, thanks for that question, Daniel. So we'll see you in Brisbane. Um, well, it's pretty similar to the Northern Beaches question. I think uh, we have a lot of loyal fans down in Wollongong. Um, we do play one game against Wellington there, which is their home game. Um, and, and we have one down there as well. So obviously we have great supporters support down there and to get out to the community as well it's fantastic and we have a lot of you know I think a lot of academy players coming from that area as well so it'd be great uh, to play down there it's a great stadium and a great atmosphere. Well we have uh, obviously the COVID capacity restrictions on on the stadiums at the moment and um, we want to get as many as fans and, and members into this stadium that we can to support the boys so you know these are two massive games first one against uh, Melbourne City grand final replay and obviously the Wanderers which we all know is the big derby and and everyone looks forward to that so um, we want to try and get everyone in. Uh, yes, I think uh, everyone knows that we're after a striker. Um, you know, it's obviously been a little difficult period for us um, with the, the salary cap reducing uh, Adams Lafondra leaving, so he's a difficult player to replace. I think we do have young players that can fill these positions. As you can see from the games that we've played over here um, with Trent Bahaja and, and the young boys, Luka Vanovic, but we are still looking to bring in uh, a, another striker. It's just waiting for the right time to make sure we get the, the right player that fits into obviously the way we play and and the personality that we want uh, in the team. So yes to that question, only, uh, only looking for the one player. Thanks guys, um, that's all the questions about the fixtures and, and what's happening at Sydney FC, so we'll see you soon.